welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how I make a color chart for my 52 pan watercolor palette. I put my own colors in my watercolor palette uh, with empty pans, but I find it really hard to keep track of everything, uh, especially because they don't always look the same color when they're dried in the pan. So as you can see, I've just cut and cropped some 90 pound watercolor paper and I made a little grid line on it so that there are um, 13 uh, spots for the pans on each row, so four rows of 13. And I'm just going to swatch each color out of my palette on it so that I can make a nice chart. And I'm using just a chisel shaped brush, so a little square brush. It doesn't have to even be a specific watercolor brush. This is an inexpensive brush I just got from the dollar store that I use to mix paint. And I'm just going along and filling up each one of my squares with my color and rinsing my brush in between and dabbing it off so that my brush is nice and clean so that I get a really pure clean color for each color swatch. This is a really relaxing thing to do and I've made many of these because I often change my colors around or add a different color to my palette because you can remove and replace the pans which is another reason I like using these um, tin palettes for all my colors and yeah if you're too tired to paint something especially focusing on botanical paintings sometimes it's nice just to mix colors and see what kind of swatches you can make or make a swatch chart like this for a color palette i'm just going to put the rest of this to a bit of music and then i'll be back with the next step
Now I have my new color chart finished in order of my paints and I'm going to take a waterproof pen and just write in the names of all my paint colors on it. So here is my finished color chart. You don't have to use expensive paper. This is just 90 pound inexpensive paper. I have every one of my colors here swatched with their name on it. And this really helps me mixing colors, even though I've been painting for over 10 years and um, you know, I know most of the colors, just looking at this and seeing them really helps me figure out new mixes and really match my botanical colors accurately. And then for storage, this just nicely fits in the lid and then you can close your palette and it's all contain contained together. So I really like that. And then I cut off the corners here so I can just flip it out easily um, just by putting the edge of my brush under here so that it doesn't get stuck um, in the, the lid otherwise. So again, I just sort of take my chisel ended brush here and lift it out and there it is. So before I wrap up the video I just thought I would quickly show you all the colors that I do have in my 52 pan palette. So first off I have titanium white and that's Windsor & Newton currently, Gray of Gray by Holbein, Davies Gray by Windsor & Newton, Aurelian, that's Windsor and Newton, and New Gamboge, and Quinacridone Gold, Joan Brilliant 2, that's Holbein. Uh, most of these are Holbein and Windsor and Newton with a few Daniel Smith. And then I have Yellow Ochre, Raw Sienna, and Permanent Yellow Orange, Brilliant Orange, Quinacridone Coral, that's a Daniel Smith color, Scarlet Lake, and Windsor Red, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, Perylene Maroon, Quinacridone Rose, another Daniel Smith color, Permanent Magenta, Quinacridone Magenta, Brilliant Pink, Opera Rose, Cobalt Violet, Brilliant Violet, Perylene Violet, Windsor Violet, and Moon Glow, which is another Daniel Smith color, a very unique, lovely shadow color. Horizon Blue, Lavender, which is by Holbein. Cobalt Green, Cobalt Turquoise. Cerulean Blue, Cobalt Blue, French Ultramarine, Ultramarine Turquoise. Green Gold. Next we have Thalo Yellow Green, Olive Green, Sap Green, Hooker's Green, and then we have Undersea Green by Daniel Smith, Perylene Green, Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Umber, Sepia, Light Red, Transparent Red Oxide, Burnt Sienna, Lunar Violet, Paints Gray, Indigo, Neutral Tint, and Lunar Black. And these are 
pretty much all the colors I use. I do have some other colors and tubes of paint picking, kicking around that I've been given, but if I wanted a big selection of colors that I could choose from, these are all the ones that I'm currently using, which are definitely way more than you need. You could have a far smaller selection of colors and still be able to paint any subject, but over the years, this is what I've gathered and the ones that I love the most. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can click below for another resource for mixing colors and creating a chart, and I'll see you in my next video.